So, seeing, taking the opportunity, I will have Ross finish this foolish enemy off. Shut up. Ross is awesome. You just have to live with his badass. He gets strength and HP, both things he desperately needs for victory. We need to defeat the enemy, but this cutthroat is our final enemy. Mulder, get out of there. And Vanessa, you should get out of there too. We shall see what happens. He attacks Ross. He succeeds, because apparently Ross sucks at hitting. This is a constant theme in many of his projects. So we shall have Ross call a retreat, forcing him to... Forcing the foe to go out the mountains, where he gets... 40 avoid. Yeah, you can't stay in there forever, and you gotta attack Ross. But Ross will do be hit by you, and then critical you, because he's that awesome. And he'll level up again, bringing Ross, the journeyman, to... Level 3. Gaining strength and defense, which is always nice for a melee-oriented class. Thank you, Garcia. He was a troop commander. What do you know? I mean, it's not like he's gonna join us, or he will join us. That's not an excuse. You will join us. Why? Because Ross will join us. And Ro because Ross is awesome. And we need him. And you just gotta live with that. Yeah, you hear that? He's calling you out. You both better join, because I want Axeman. And guess what? I want Ross the Axeman, because Ross the Axeman is a badass. Yeah, you hear that? Your son's lecturing you. You should be guilty and help us. Okay, now that's a lie. You are not a warrior yet, because you have not promoted. And you're not becoming a warrior. You're going to become something even more awesome. Yeah, that's right. You're joining us. I guess that's very accurate. Hey, wait a second. He'll be crushed? Does that mean we're gonna jump and do him? No, it's a flashback three years ago. You see younger Ephraim and younger Erica. Of course, Ephraim will win, because he uses lances, not a sword. And lances beat swords. <laughs> That's bull. Everyone should be able to fight. Just not for war, because then it would be against what I believe in. Unless it's self-defense.
That's a good mini for him. Now kick her ass. I do not support ass kicking of women. Even if it would be funny. Wait, my bracelet? Her bracelet? It's gone! Thief. We cannot lose it, because the Seth knows the truth. That has to be important. So, we go from the Ides of March to Bogor Go Ridge. Our mini-map is starting to form, but it still isn't big. We need to march onward to glory, death, but mostly glory, and hopefully little death, because death is permanent in Fire Emblem, people. I hope you knew that. Yeah, we're going to kill Bazba today. Isn't that an exciting thought? Welcome to chapter... Three. Yeah, if we take out the bandits, we're awesome. But now we have to fight the bandits of Borgo. Wow, plunge into savagery. Guess we have to do something about that. Who is this? How did you guess? Was it the fact that we all have strange hair and have weapons? Or is it the fact that we all are are ready to invade a bandit base? Name me. Lark. What happened to Lark? Oh. Just say it, you like him. But it's love, and lo all we need is love. Hey, we can't make you cry. You have pink hair. So obviously you're going to join us. Because we're the group of weird hair colors. First we have blue, now we're going to get pink. Oh wait, we also have green. So I guess we have two of the three of three weird hair colors. We need to add you to our collection. As weird as that sounds. Yeah, they're dead, but let's help her now. I mean, obviously this isn't a trap. Well, how inaccurate. Erica gets to fight in the front. Well, no, specifically, Ross. Begin assaulting the fool. No, you fool. You attacked the wrong thing. Oh well. You. Wait. Damn it. That was a mistake. Oh well. Erica. March upwards. To meet the enemy in, hol in holy war. And we have a thief. I guess this is our calm. No, you fool! Don't open the door! You, are you in range? No. Ross, you are supposed to- you are supposed to attack the bandits, not the pin. Now, keep that wall in good spirits. Name me. Charge! Stop Colm from killing himself. Erica, try and stop him, but you'll fail because you suck like that. 
Um, Vanessa is pretty useless at the moment. You can't fly over walls. Well, these kind of walls. And those chests look tantalizing, aren't don't they? Ha! Huh, we take it! And Erica dishes it out. Because she's just that awesome. Our weapon level goes up. Fair enough. Ross, we need you to level up. So get levels. Grow. Civilization. No! You idiot! Ross finished his job. The job. Yeah. See that level up? That's a Ross level up. And he gets, of course, defense and HP. Two things he needs because of his low HP. He gets a door key, but we're not going to use it. It's a door, and we can get him eventually. If he stops running away! Seriously, that really rubs me the wrong way. Anyway. Now, we need someone to blow up that door. So now, we can have the attack of that cutthroat. He has a chest key. And this one has a hand axe. So we better be careful. You know something will go wrong. Fortunately, he steals a hand axe for us. After all, he has a iron sword and a hand axe. We better stop him from taking the third item. That would be bad. No, she told you to stop taking stuff without me there. I wish. No, no, you can take stuff again. Finish looting this chest. Yeah, we'll put Ross in the fire range of this cutthroat. But the cutthroat's harmless. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? I, think. I mean, Ross is a ninja, practically. And he gets tons of experience. I mean, what's to complain about? Oh, and not to mention that he can also attack the one who can't attack him back and get even more experience. Thus leveling him up again. Yeah, you see, he went from level 1 to level 4 this fast. And he gets resistance. A little too late, I would say. But it's never too late to get resistance. Ooh! That would have been a decent hit if the fact is Ross didn't just get more HP. I'm having fun with this. Ross will continue attacking his foe that cannot fight back. And he shall be attacked by this foolish cutthroat. Finishing them off. And getting a tidy sum of experience. You see, if I could, I would have Ross kill everyone. It's possible, actually. And now, the bowman, which is somewhat more competent, but still very incompetent, attacks Ross, giving him even more experience. Yes, be the monster that is Ross. Let him become a god of war. Or at least decent at fighting. 